Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel, filmed from the Louise Janetta Gallery and Studio in Buxton in Derbyshire. Please have a look at my website for visiting because I'm open every Saturday, 10 to 4.30 p.m. But please perhaps phone in advance just in case I'm on holiday because I do go away sometimes. If you enjoy the videos, please like and subscribe and that way you'll be notified when I upload my next video, hopefully every Thursday morning. Um, and if you press the notification button, you'll certainly be told. I hope you get something out of the videos and see you again. Thanks very much. Hello and welcome to the video. And this time I'd like to talk about my texture tree images. Um, it's because the process and the methods I use demonstrates so well how I think about art and how I think it has the capacity to affect you so deeply. They're not so much about the trees, more about the mark making and the light and I suppose the abstract shapes that they make. My hope is, is that the viewer becomes curious and sees things that are not fully explained but are comprehensive um, and stimulate in a way that they possibly haven't experienced before. And then, of course, it induces contemplation. So it's looking at the lovely way that the oil paint gloops and sits on the textures that I've made. And I really like doing this. It's like playing with mud pies. And I really love the way that the actual paint itself and the textures beneath it are what determines the image in the end. It's funny as well, you come over here in the morning and there's one light and you think, oh wow, that looks really lovely because it's lit from the side and all the shadows show. And then you come over in the afternoon when the light is directly behind me and it looks completely different. The shadows are lost. So the ambient light in the room in which this, these pictures are displayed is really important. It's also about how the paint reacts with your senses, how the marks and the layers generate sensory stimulus. My love of nature, its colours, its transience and its dance, its creativity are all expressed within my painting. The images engage your tactile senses with your optical senses. Memories and experience join, so time and light and a single moments all become mixed together. And because of the way the painting directly responds to the light around it, to the ambient light in the room, it doesn't really work so well in a gallery space, in a white cube type space where light is fixed and controlled. It works much better in a space which can interact with the light, like your home, where if you have a fire on or even if the sun goes behind a cloud, the shadows slightly shimmer and it appears to change. So the painting is about nature, using the light and the colours and the textures and the transients of nature, but it also responds and is directly affected by the elements, by the lights changing the room, by the ambient light in which it exists. There's going to be other videos that discuss abstraction because I believe it's been hanging around for a long time um, and it's not necessarily a modern concept. Um, and if you would like to be notified when these are going to be uploaded, please remember to like and subscribe. Um, and thank you for watching. I hope you got something out of it. Thanks very much. Bye.